In this video, I am going to show you how you can manage groups inside of Smartsheet. Now, groups make it really convenient to group together your departments or different users inside of Smartsheet. So when you're doing things like sharing or adding people into uh, your projects, your spaces, anything like that, you can just send it out to the whole group and it just makes it um, very convenient. And there's some other things you can do with groups, but let's go ahead and take a look at how you can manage them. So if you go down to the bottom left hand corner and you click on the account icon, you can see we have a button called group management so you can go ahead and click on that and when you do it will bring you to the account administration page and we're under the group management tab here at the top you can see we have an account name if you click on that you can change the name of your account or team uh, below that is where we can create a group we can filter the groups by names. If you're searching for a particular group or group owner, you can filter that here. And then we would see the group and the group owner. So let's go ahead and create a group. And it's going to ask us for a group name. So let's just say that we're creating a group for the marketing department. And we'll hit create. And it says group has been created. Now, sometimes you might not see it populate here. You can try leaving into the user management or another tab and then clicking on group management. If sometimes it will populate. If it doesn't populate, then just go ahead and click the refresh button. And it will bring you back into Smartsheet. We're going to go back to our account and click on group management and you can see it's been added sometimes um, you may need to save or you may need to refresh to get some of the information to come through uh, no big deal but here we can see our group now there is a drop down menu to the left of that if we click on that we can edit the group we can download the group sheet access report we can transfer the group ownership and we can delete the group you can see the group owner to the right hand side here let's go ahead and edit this group so we'll click on that and hit edit group and then it's going to ask us who we want to put into this group so we can filter people by their name uh, we can select them and then we can add them to the group or remove them from the group and let's say that right now this is a, a new project new sheet new account there's no users or, or contacts already in here so let's say that we wanted to add some people in from this uh, screen right here we can click on add to group and then it's going to say, who do we want to add? Which user? Well, we don't have any users or anyone added in here yet. So go to the right and click on this icon, this contact list icon. And we can add in some contacts here. We can filter them. We can look at all contacts. We can look at just our Smartsheet contacts or our team users. We need to add in a new contact. So click on the Add New button in the bottom left-hand corner. And here it's going to ask us, what is the contact we would like to add? So let's go ahead and add Susan and we'll hit OK and let's just go ahead and add another and we'll hit OK so now we want to select these contacts so you just click on them and you'll see that it's given the check mark here and then we can hit close you can see that those people have been added to the group so once they're added into your contacts you can just type in their name here so let's just go ahead and delete Susan and say Susan's not there I can just start typing Susan and you will see her name populate here at the bottom and you can click on that and it will add her in but that's only if they're already a contact once they're uh, you want to add them to the group go ahead and hit the save button and now we are able to add these different people to the group so we can click on all of them and we can uh, add more or we can remove them from the group if we want to we'll go ahead and hit done and those people have been added to this group uh, again if you click on this you can edit the group you can download the reports and delete the group and so forth let's go ahead and hit the close button and what you can do is you can go up to the share button on a sheet on the top right hand side and here we can invite collaborators to the sheet well let's say that we wanted to invite the whole marketing department so we could type in marketing and you can see marketing department group shows up here we could also hit the contact list icon and here you can see that we have all of our contacts so we have Bob we have the marketing department group and we have Susan we can also sort again by all contacts Smartsheet contacts and users and groups so if I go to Smartsheet contacts you'll see the contacts and if I go to users and groups, you'll see the group here. Now, you will notice that Susan and Bob are not users. So they haven't been added in as users yet. So they are just contacts. But you can go ahead and select the marketing department group and hit close. 
and then we can send this out to them. Now, if we click on the permissions here on the right hand side, you can say, do we want to make this group uh, admins, editors, commenters or viewers? Let's just say we want them to view this and not be able to edit it. We can click on that. And then when we share the sheet out, it will share it to the whole department and then they will all have access to view this sheet. So let's go ahead and exit that in the top right hand corner. We're going to hit don't share. I'm not going to worry about sharing this right now. If you go down again to your count settings in the bottom left hand corner and click on that and you go up to my Smartsheet contacts, you will see your two contacts here that you have added in here. We can add more contacts if we wanted to and then we could add them into our group. Let's go ahead and close that. Click on account again and go to user management. And you will see that the only user on this actual account is me. There are no other users. When we added Bob and Susan, those were added in as private contacts. But let's say that we wanted to add a user that had admin privileges to be able to do different things uh, inside of our project. Well, we could go to add user and click on that. And then it's going to say send an invite. So let's go ahead and invite Angela. We'll hit tab and we'll go ahead and hit send invite so that's going to go ahead and send angela an invite at her email address currently it shows status as invited they have system administration privileges no group administration privileges and resource view privileges let's say we want to make them a group admin we can go and click on the menu icon on the left hand side and then we can go to edit user and here we can change group admin so we'll turn that on and we'll hit okay now this user has group admin privileges and they can create and edit groups also. So we'll go ahead and close that out and then we'll go back to account and then go to group management and under marketing department, we'll click on that and we'll hit edit group. And we want to go ahead and add someone new to this group. So we'll go to add to group and we are going to type in Angela. We'll click on her name and hit save. And the uh, name hasn't been populated. Once they are invited and they fill out their information, it will be populated here, but their ad, uh, email address is shown here. We can um, go ahead and hit done. And now Angela has also been added to that marketing department group. So if we go close and we go back and we share this and we go over to the contact list button here to add them in. We can see all of our contacts here. We have Bob, the marketing department group, Angela and Susan. Now, if we click on my Smartsheet contacts, you will see Angela is not here listed as a private contact. But if you click on Jeremy's team or your team users and groups, you will see that Angela has been added as a user. So there are contacts and there are users inside of Smartsheet. Contacts are people who are private to you and people that you can add into Sheets. Users are people who have actual roles, responsibilities, and privileges inside of your Smartsheet account. So Angela has those group admin privileges. She can go in and edit the group. Um, but however, Bob and Susan are just listed in the group and won't have those access privileges. So that is basically how you manage groups inside of Smartsheet.